and thank you for joining us for this special to honor our nation's heroes on Veterans Day. I'm Kristen Flum. And I'm Marvin Bartlett. Over the next half hour, we'll take a look at the Veterans Voices of Kentucky. We will meet the family of a Kentucky soldier killed in World War II, whose remains were recently finally returned and meet with a group using music to work through PTSD. And later on, the team comes first. We'll learn how one veteran uses his most important lesson as a soldier on the football field. But we begin with a story of closure for the family of a Kentucky veteran more than 75 years after he disappeared fighting in the French mountains in World War II. His family tells Fox 56's Bodie Brooks it still doesn't feel real that their soldier has returned home. That's where he wrote about he just wanted to come home. On November 23rd, 1944, U.S. Army Private First Class Burton McQueen took his last breath in the Vosges Mountains of France. A native son of Wind Cave, Kentucky, it would be more than 75 years before he would return to the bluegrass. The last time I seen my Uncle Burton, he was out of basic training. And I looked up the road, and I must have been, I don't know if I was 10 years old or what, you know, it's a long time ago, but I remember Uncle Burton come running. He just out of basic training. I've never seen anyone run like that before. Genevieve Palm and Burton Griffin are McQueen's niece and nephew and some of his eldest descendants. Griffin sharing the namesake of his late uncle and distant memories of when he left for the war in November 1943. He said, I thought if I run hard and get here quicker, I could stay a little bit longer, but said I can't stay long as it is. There's a bus waiting on me. We're getting ready to ship out. He went back the same way in a long stride. Uh, military style. July of 1944. And that was the last time McQueen's family would see him on Kentucky soil. McQueen's final battle was a year later in France during Operation Dragoon. His unit had been ordered to retreat, but McQueen was not among them. He had been wounded. Eyewitness accounts place McQueen at an aid station, a French farm, where he later died. And for years, that's where he stayed. Grandma's hope and grief and my mother's hope and grief, they never really gave up the hope that he was still out there someplace and he would eventually come home. On July 9th, that all changed. After a near four-year process, McQueen's remains, now relocated to Normandy, were finally identified. On October 16th, the McKee community welcomed Burton McQueen home. Just standing there on the, on the tarmac when the plane was waiting for the plane and the plane, it just did not feel real. And it... I still wake up every day and remind myself Uncle Burton's home. Reporting in McKee, Bodie Brooks, Fox 56 News. McQueen was buried with military honors in October. He was just 20 years old when he died just six months before the war ended. We also want to show you veterans' memorials across our area. We begin in our state capitol with a look at the Kentucky Vietnam Veterans Memorial. 1,103 Kentuckians were killed each with their name inscribed on the floor of the memorial. Built in 1988, the monument takes the form of a sundial. It was designed to give each soldier their own personal Memorial Day, with the shadow's tip touching each man's name on the date of their death. Soldiers missing in action or prisoners of war are also listed toward the front of the monument where the shadow never falls. Veterans face many challenges. Some deal with PTSD, depression, anxiety, a nonprofit at the VA helps them heal. It puts the power of music into the hands of heroes in Lexington. Fox 56's Georgia MacArthur has the story. It's the sound of hope. It's the rhythm of relief. The things you experience overseas can be very hard to, um, to express in words. Sometimes, uh, even through various therapies, sometimes there's just something kind of missing. Music is now a way for Michael McCuddy and other vets to heal from those experiences. I think that playing this guitar um, is a different kind of outlet to be able to express emotion. It's hard, it's hard to describe. Infantryman McCuddy served one tour in Iraq, his years of service 2001 to 2005. McCuddy says the camaraderie he finds with other veterans here is therapeutic. Helping other combat vets was a real passion of mine. Healing in the hands of music. Learning frets and chords may not seem like much, but to these veterans, it means the world. I'm from Indiana, and this allowed me to meet other combat veterans around here, and uh, 
You know, it's been a good thing for me because before that, you know, I didn't know anybody. Dustin Vaughn spent five years in the Army. He deployed twice during the Iraq War troop surge. Guitars for Vets gives veterans with PTSD and other emotional distress comfort in the songs they love. I'm happy that uh, we got contact with you guys. Retired Sergeant First Class Anthony Cook instructs. I suffer from PTSD uh, as well, and through all the therapy that I've done, mindfulness is a big uh, a big thing. He deployed three times while serving. This is how he serves now. You're around uh, people who've been through experiences like you've been through to kind of understand. In Lexington, George MacArthur, Fox 56 News. Guitars for Veterans started in July. The group meets every Friday and all veterans are welcome to join. Some veterans need more extensive therapy to deal with effects of PTSD. The VA offers mental health treatment for veterans. All VA medical facilities provide PTSD specialists and treatment. In Lexington, there's a PTSD clinical team. There are also specialized programs such as rehab treatment and a women's recovery program. For more information on how to get assistance, visit foxlexington.com. Next on Veterans Voices of Kentucky, resources for veterans often center around men who have served. We'll hear from a group whose efforts focus on women. Do you suffer from knee pain or worry about the risks of knee surgery? It hurt all the time, like the nerves were rubbing against each other. Get the relief you need without surgery. Wear arthritis knee pain centers. Our state-of-the-art procedures replenish the natural cushioning in your joints with an FDA-approved gel without surgery or downtime. After the first injection, I knew it was going to work. Medicare and most private insurance cover this procedure. Call 1-800-218-2168. That's 1-800-218-2168. When you're named the number one hospital in Kentucky for five straight years, it comes with enormous responsibility. A responsibility that we are honored to hold. It means that no healthcare challenge is too big or too small. It means that we will always show the best of us. It means that we are the hospital to meet the healthcare needs of the Commonwealth. The best in Kentucky, the best for Kentucky. UK Healthcare, the power of advanced medicine. Join us at Johnny Carino's for our 5 for $15 top sirloin steak and shrimp scampi meal deal. Enjoy our Italian nachos appetizer, juicy char grilled top sirloin steak, savory shrimp scampi sauteed in a white wine lemon butter sauce, your choice of pasta, a refreshing beverage, and our fresh baked bread for only $15. We are open at noon on Thanksgiving Day, serving your traditional turkey dinner and all your Italian favorites. Or take your Thanksgiving family feast to go. Make your reservation at Johnny Carino's today. Bath Fitter doesn't just fit your bath. With hundreds of custom designs, it fits your style. With our unique tub-over-tub -tub installation in just a day, it fits your schedule with no demo or mess. With quality that's guaranteed for life, it fits your high standards. It just fits. Bath Fitter. Call 859-495-1830 today to book your free in-home consultation. Call now. Our veteran special continues now with the focus shifting to a different group. Female veterans face a disconnect. Some feel society sees them differently than men, and that plays into a unique set of hardships. Fox 56's Danielle Miskell spoke with some of them at Lady Veterans Connect, an organization right here in Lexington, about their experiences. We are here for the veterans, mostly the lady veterans, because they're like, they're like a little community that's forgotten about. Retired Navy officer Fran Howard couldn't find a job post-retirement. She became homeless and she belongs to the 15% of female veterans living in poverty. The Department of Veteran Affairs says female vets are the fastest growing segment of the homeless population. And that's sad. At my age to be homeless and there's no kind of program out there that's geared to help me as a female veteran. She came across Lady Veterans Connect. Since 2016, the organization has helped over 500 female veterans transition back into civilian life here in Kentucky. I wanted to become a, me a functioning member of society again. Officer Andrea Kaichi left battle and came home to face a different battle, custody of her children. And that was hard because then you get judged as a bad mom. Like, why don't you have your kids? Well, you don't know what I've been through. The shame of her PTSD caused her mental health to spiral. It was hard to come back because 
you know, that adrenaline that you get. Like, I mean, I survived war. Like, I survived somebody hitting my gun truck. Officer Kaichi is still healing. Now she helps other women with their mental health at Lady Veterans Connect. She works alongside retired Navy Petty Officer Renee Fowler. 40% of female soldiers survived military sexual assault. Fowler is one of them. She was eventually dismissed for her weight and became suicidal. And so that kind of failure landed me flat on my face, and there wasn't really a support network specifically for that. She rediscovered her purpose. Today, she is a director at Lady Veterans Connect. I needed to be able to engage my, you know, productive, get my productive self going again. And be helpful to other people. Each female veteran has come so far with their own journey, they pay it forward as Shiro's here on Home Turf. We're changing lives, we're saving lives, one lady veteran at a time. In Winchester, Danielle Miskell, Fox 56 News. Last month, Phyllis Abbott, founder of Lady Veterans Connect, testified before the House of Representatives Committee of Veterans Affairs, recommending programs to target the issues that you just heard about. Abbott opened a second location in Winchester at the beginning of 2021. It houses up to 32 female veterans. The primary thing is we're giving them a safe place for healing. Uh, we have this structure to, it's to more of a home environment where they've not had that for a while. So they can come here and they feel safe and when they feel safe they can share their stories and that begins the healing process abbott asked if you know of any female veteran who needs a place to stay to send them her way lady veterans connect will prepare them for employment offer counseling and whatever else they need to get on their feet and mark your calendars lady veterans connect is holding a yard sale next month at the winchester location all sales will help pay for the facility's utility bills for more information, visit foxlexington.com. Thankful to have a home. Up next, we meet a veteran's family which went from struggling for shelter to somewhere safe and permanent. And later, the team comes first, the motto of a soldier. We meet a Kentucky coach whose lessons from the battlefield transition into teaching young men on the football field. Enjoy a taste of Honduras at Mami Machita's, Frankfurt's very own Honduran restaurant serving authentic Central American cuisine. Eat, share, and love. That's our motto. With family recipes spanning generations, you'll be sure to enjoy a delicious mix of flavors featuring specialty dishes along with seafood, steak, chicken, soups, and salads. Relax on our patio with a drink during happy hour and enjoy live entertainment on the weekends. Come on down to Mami Machita's for a taste of Honduras in Frankfurt, located at 610 Ridgeview Drive. Listen carefully if your child age 5 to 11 is allergic to dust mites. Right now, we're seeking participants for a research study of an investigational immunotherapy for dust mite allergies in children ages 5 to 11. To learn about participating in our study, visit dustmitestudy.com or use your phone to read our QR code. Participating in our study for dust mite allergies is at no charge and compensation may be available on the web at dustmitestudy.com. That's dustmitestudy.com. It's a fact. Two out of three Americans who qualify for Medicare do not receive all the benefits they deserve. You could be missing out. Now, Anthem Blue Cross and Blue Shield introduces a free Medicare plan checkup to make sure you receive all the benefits you qualify for in 2022. Call 1-800-878-5180 today and receive extra benefits for a $0 monthly premium. Benefits like dental, vision, hearing, and prescription drugs. And to help you stay healthy at home, you can have free prescription drug delivery, online doctor visits 24-7, and free exercise classes. You can even receive money towards over-the-counter health items. Call 1-800-878-5180 today and feel confident you have all the benefits you deserve for 2022. You can receive extra benefits for a $0 monthly premium, like dental, vision, hearing, and prescription drugs. Call 1-800-878-5180 and make sure you're not missing out. We head over to Hardin County now, Elizabethtown's Vietnam Veterans Memorial Wall. There are more than 58,000 names of women and men who served in Vietnam, both living and dead. It's 260 feet long, 9 feet tall, and 80% scale replica of the Vietnam Veterans Memorial Wall in D.C. It was dedicated in 2018 after years of fundraising from local veterans, businesses, and neighbors. 
Close to 240,000 veterans call Kentucky home, but more than 40,000 of them face housing issues. Everything from living in a home in need of serious repair or not having a home at all. Our Georgia Reed Godfrey spent the day with one family who is getting situated in their new home after spending years looking for a place to settle down. There he is. It's 3 o'clock and the Burrow children are just getting home from school. It's a greeting dad, Anthony Burrow, says he'll never get tired of. It sounds cliche to say, but like it kind of means the world to me. Two years ago, a scene like this wasn't possible. Burrow was raised by his mother in Evansville, Indiana. My mom worked two and three jobs. We kind of bounced from house to house, got evicted. It was motivation for him to join the military and build a stable life for himself. There weren't too many men and my father uncle generation around me, so nobody had served in the military, so I thought I should. Burrow was stationed at Fort Leonard Wood in Missouri for five years and did one tour of Iraq. I think I was there right around two years, about a year and a half whenever I met my wife. From there, he went to Fort Knox and California. And after more than 10 years in the Army, Burrow made the decision to put family first. Lo and behold, I would have three more daughters after that, and so I was like, yeah, I want to be home with my wife and my kids, so. First, Burrow had to find a job, which he says he didn't have a problem doing, but finding housing was a different story. Everywhere we've lived, the military has told us where to live, and so I was like, so now you get to pick. Eventually, the Burrows landed in Morton's Gap. It was a seven-bedroom house. It was about 25, 2,600 square feet or so. Um, but we bought it for 10 grand cash. So to give you an idea of what kind of condition it was in. But they quickly learned their future dream home would turn into a nightmare. The roof at one point I didn't know what I was doing and a storm blew the tarp off so it rained through and all the insulation and stuff caved in. The Burroughs lived in the home for five years until a chat between wife Kara and their pastor motivated her to stop in the local Habitat for Humanity office. I heard a lady in the lobby talking about applying for a Habitat house and her pastor had sent her and then she just casually mentioned that her husband and her had been in uh, military housing. And before you know it, the Burroughs had a team of volunteers ready to fix their home, or so they thought. But it was not repairable. So Habitat for Humanity built the Burroughs a brand new home, which meant the Burroughs would now have a mortgage. But Habitat for Humanity had one last surprise. Oh, I have to tell you something, actually, Anthony and Kara, uh, that you won't have to worry about another mortgage payment. Thanks to a partnership between Home Depot and Habitat for Humanity, the borough's new home is also now paid for. <laughs> for those involved in building the borough's foundation in Morton's Gap, the project is more than hammer and nails. This is also a purpose for Habitat. This is what we do. For the boroughs, it's making memories and creating traditions like these. Amen. It's almost like you forget how like blessed you were by it. Like, like we have a house. In Morton's Gap, George Rigotfrey, Fox 56 News. Are you just guessing? Look at me. Habitat for Humanity has helped more than 200 veterans with housing. When it comes to veteran homelessness, Kentucky's VA can also help. It offers resources like financial, mental health, and work support. The Homeless Veterans Trust Fund helped over 100 vets in a span of five months last year. If you need to reach out for yourself or someone else, we have information on our website, foxlexington.com. Next, commitment, discipline, and true teamwork. A veteran giving back to the next generation on the football field. In the town of Basic, families gather for basic fun. But if you have the 2021 Nissan Rogue with five drive modes, you can climb above Basic and find your own phone. Get 0% financing for up to 72 months on 14 models. Friday night, Queens football and high school sports extra on Fox 56. Spend Friday night under the lights with high school sports extra on Fox 56. Catch the play. Catch the highlights. Catch your school. Because Friday in the bluegrass means high school sports extra on Fox 56. Friday night at 1040. Presented by Monticello Bank, Family Wealth Group, and Transylvania University. Watch me. Watch me shine with every snap. Born to move fans, to cheer and clap. Two different legs. That's how I play. One built from science to help me on the deck. 
between these lines, I'm all heart and muscle. Don't stare too long. You'll miss the hustle. Watch me. Pioneers in prosthetic technology at Shriners Hospitals for Children. The most amazing care anywhere. In the town of Basic, families gather for basic fun. But if you have the 2021 Nissan Rogue with five drive modes, you can climb above Basic and find your own fun. Save up to 4262 on select models. Welcome back. Next up, we stop in Lawrenceburg, where you'll find the first and only permanent healing field in the country. The field was dedicated in 2007 and serves as a tribute to the strength and unity of Kentucky's servicemen and women who have fallen in the war on terror. The site features 118 flagpoles that each represent a Kentucky soldier who gave their life for our freedom. Lessons veterans learn through service are priceless when they come back home. Even better when they give back to the next generation. Fox 56's Michael Epps introduces us to one local high school football coach who's doing that, teaching commitment, discipline, and true teamwork to his players. Hey. Hey. One of the earliest lessons learned in sports, the team comes first. Hey. Be pick six. All the way. That's football coach Lamont Brown's lesson at Lexington Christian Academy. Game time. It's all right here. Lamont is from Scott County, graduated in 89, played D1 football at Kentucky State for a year, and then decided to join a different team. Oh! I was ready to, to make a move, so I uh, surprised my mom one day and uh, came home and was like, hey, I'm going to the Navy. Lamont served a tour in the Philippines, Jug Ops in Central America, then entered the reserves and served an additional two tours in Iraq. 2005 and 2009, each 10 months long in the Naval Construction Battalion. Just saw it through. I mean, it was, uh, again, I'm, I'm, I'm glad I did, because if they would have said, hey, you don't have to do it, I, pro I probably would have would have backed out. The very best decision that, that I did make. Honorably discharged in 2013, he had to figure out what's next. So he joined another team on the sidelines. Come on, man. Yeah, he started coaching football. They are absolutely therapeutic for me. Uh, they, they teach me more than, than I think I, I teach them. All about you, baby. I'm yes, here for sir. you. He's Coach Brown to the Eagles players, but off the field, he's also dad to Xavier and Evan Brown, a senior and junior on the team. You'll find your greatness if being you're uncomfortable. comfortable. His Veterans Day tradition, a big dinner with his battalion mates. It's still a tough day every year. It is home a lot. Um, I, I lost some, you know, some, 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 some friends over there, and I lost some friends when we got back. That, uh, that was suffering. Always returning to his earliest lesson on the battlefield and on the football field. The team comes first. To relate that to, to this, again, complete different backgrounds, different dynamics, different people, different everything. And uh, to come together as one, it's amazing. In Lexington, Michael Epps, Fox 56 Sports. You may have heard of the American Legion, but under its umbrella are several other support organizations. One of those is the American Legion Auxiliary, which is made up of spouses, grandmothers, and granddaughters of veterans. They describe themselves as the premier organization for educating and advocating for veterans. This year, the organization is being led by a Kentucky native. Kathy Dottestell is national president of the Auxiliary and spoke with Fox 56 about their work. We're probably the grassroots level. We work in the VA. We volunteer in the VA homes and the VA facilities for our veterans. We do a lot of things for active duty military, their families. We advocate. We do a lot of advocating for um, veterans' rights. There are tons of volunteer opportunities available. If you'd like to get involved, visit alaforveterans.org. Next, we talk about America's future veterans. We stop at Camp Nelson with a look. Well, if it isn't Big Hardy, you fixin' to sauce me up? Sick those beefy twins on this cheese hound? Scrap Big Mac, go play with your extra toy bun. The adults are getting meaty. Hurry to Hardy's for the Big Hardy. Feed your happy. When you get hurt, you need help, and you need it fast. Call 800-800-4600. Hughes and Coleman, 800-800-4600.
P-Rats Veterans Day Sale is going on this weekend. Get up to four years interest-free. And if you're a veteran or active military, ask how you can get a $100 gift card. Get a Tempur-Pedic mattress set, a comforter, sheet set, mattress protector, and two Tempur-Pedic pillows, all for as low as $48 a month. Plus, get a free $300 gift card and free delivery. Doorbuster Ashley Memory Foam Mattress, Fuller Queen. Take it home today for just $149. Nobody beats P-Rats. I was brought here to Isaiah House, and I have to honestly say that it has really saved my life. You know, the fundamentals of Isaiah House are faith, hope, and love. But when it comes to peer support, those are the guys who leave no brothers behind. Isaiah House has helped me uh, learn to apply the skills in everyday life. I get me a job and stuff. The way that this place is set up, everyone has each other's back. Nothing and no one offers the love that uh, I have felt at Isaiah House. Isaiah House, real hope for addiction. Over the years, people have asked me, how did your firm get so big? The answer is simple. We won a lot. In this business, you grow by winning. As America's largest injury law firm, we have more lawyers than any other injury firm. Morgan & Morgan. They call you really big hearty. Must be those triple sauce meat heaps. How about you cloak me in cheese? Drape me in a three-piece potty suit like a beef tycoon. The really big hearty is back. Feed your happy. Welcome back to Veterans Voices of Kentucky. Over to Stanton, home to Veterans Memorial Park. The community remembers its own who served to protect our freedom. The tribute on Washington Street includes special statues and a wall which reads, The people of Powell County gratefully acknowledge those who bravely served in the armed forces of the United States of America. Now for a look at America's future vets. 50% of today's youth admit they know little to nothing about military service. That's according to a report by the United States Army Recruiting Command. But at Camp Nelson in Jessamine County, park rangers are exposing kids to military history. In the late 1800s, Camp Nelson was the third largest recruiting center in the nation for the United States Colored Troops. 150 years later, the camp is now a national monument and gives visitors the chance to learn about Camp Nelson. Kids 7 to 13 are given tasks to complete on the historic grounds in the reconstructed barracks and museum. Once they're done, the kids are given an official Junior Ranger badge. I think, you know, for young people, uh, really engaging in these topics is something that is really beneficial for them uh, when they um, move forward in their academic careers. I think there's a number of reasons why this is important, to really understand the complexities of history, um, kind of where people come from, why uh, things uh, happen a certain way. The camp's chief of interpretation hopes this unique experience goes a long way. As we wrap up, we want to talk about how Veterans Day became Veterans Day. This holiday was originally Armistice Day after World War I, which was thought of as the war to end all wars. November 11th remained Armistice Day for 23 years. Following the war, Congress expanded veterans' benefits, providing insurance, disability, and help finding jobs. After World War II, the holiday was renamed Veterans Day to include those who fought in the most recent war. And it has remained Veterans Day ever since. Fox 56 sends a major thank you to all of the veterans out there. We know without your service, we wouldn't enjoy our freedom. Thank you for watching.